away, let's go over some of the Hornet systems with the engines off. The Hornet is designed for naval operations. It has very strong landing gear to take the abuse of carrier landings and a tail hook for quick stops on a short deck. Two engines provide plenty of power. We won't be going over avionics or doing a thorough cockpit orientation here, but take a look around. Try to locate the main controls you'll use, such as the throttles, gear lever, hook lever, flap lever, and speed brake lever. Now that both engines are running, release the brakes and ease the throttle forward very slightly. With two high thrust engines, it doesn't take much to get moving. Taxi to one of the two catapults on the bow of the carrier. We'll fly a left-hand traffic pattern. The standard VFR pattern from a carrier is flown at 600 feet and 150 knots. But in this tutorial, we'll fly it at 2,000 feet and 200 knots to make it a little easier. When you're near a catapult, lower the launch bar with the controls in the cockpit then press Shift-I to attach and arm the catapult. Be sure the brakes are off. Lower the flaps to takeoff position by pressing the F7 key once. When you're ready to go, advance the throttles to full military power. You don't need afterburner to take off using the catapult. Press Shift-Spacebar to launch. Pull back on the stick and climb away from the carrier. Climb to 2,000 feet. Don't exceed 200 knots. Retract the gear. Raise the flaps. Turn left to a heading of 200 and enter a downwind leg parallel to the carrier. On downwind, you should be level at 2,000 feet, flying at 200 knots. Descend to a pattern height of 2,000 feet for this tutorial. Stretching across the deck are four cables that the tail hook can hook onto. Extend the gear. Descend to a pattern height of 2,000 feet for this tutorial. Don't flare on landing. Just fly the aircraft directly onto the deck in a tail-low attitude. Don't let your descent rate exceed 700 feet per minute or you might damage the landing gear. Lower the flaps one notch for the approach. Lower the tail hook by pressing Shift-Q. Adjust power to maintain 170 knots. Make a 180 degree turn to the left and line up for landing. The landing signal officer will give you some guidance on final if you need it. Wave off means you're not in position to land. Bolter means you missed the cables. In either case, add full thrust, go around and try again. If you trap a cable, the LSO will tell you which one and will announce that the deck is red, unsuitable for landing by other aircraft. Adjust power to maintain 170 knots.
Remain above 1,000 feet until you're on a two-mile final. Adjust power to maintain 150 knots. You're landing on the angled deck, so you need to be to the right of the carrier as you approach. The carrier is heading directly into the wind. To land on the angled deck, you need to compensate for the crosswind. You should be able to see the top of the deck throughout your approach. If you can't see the deck, you're too low. Lower full flaps and maintain 130 knots. Adjust power to maintain 130 knots. Slow to 130 knots for the final approach. You're fast. Three, five, five, three quarter mile. Call the ball. The ball is the yellow indicator on the visual landing system on the left side of the flight deck. If the ball is higher than the row of green lights, you're too high. If the ball is lower than the green lights, you're too low. If the ball is red, you're dangerously low. Add power. You're slow. 